it is now easier than ever to use EtherTrack 2 in place of legacy I.O. product lines. All the benefits of EtherTrack, RemoteTrack, and SixTrack modules are combined in this state-of-the-art module. EtherTrack 2 offers many functional benefits over other I.O. modules. Here are a few examples. The primary communication bus is industry standard Ethernet using SixNet and Modbus protocols. This makes deployment and interfacing with other devices easy. The dual Ethernet ports have three different jumper selectable modes. Ring mode using the SixNet ring protocol for fast recovery on Ethernet failure. Network mode allowing each Ethernet port to be on a separate Ethernet network with differing subnet masks. Switch elimination mode to daisy chain multiple modules without the use of another switch. There are redundant 10 to 30 volt DC inputs. True watchdog monitoring and error reporting allows the operator to know with greater granularity any failures or cable disconnections. The slimmer design takes up less space on the DIN rail. The EtherTrack 2 may be configured through a web-based configuration or using SixNet's configuration utility. The EtherTrack 2 also has a built-in I.O. concentrator which stores the data from other Ethernet or non-Ethernet devices and makes it available from one easy to access source. EtherTrack 2 replaces many of the modules found in the 6-track product line. This matrix, also found on www.6net.com, shows an apple-to-apple -apple comparison of I.O. types between the two product lines. Most 6-track models have an EtherTrack 2 model replacement. Since EtherTrack 2 provides a much higher I.O. density, the price per point is better in most cases. Adding EtherTrack 2 to a 6-net RTU is easy. Simply add the EtherTrack 2 module to the project file, configuring the IP address and station number. Then go into the IO module configuration of the IPM. Click the Add New Module button, select Remote IO Link from the Module Type dropdown, and your module will appear. Click OK to go through the Remote IO Link Setup Wizard. Select the options that pertain to your configuration. You may also add tag names if you like. When your configuration is complete, load the IPM to make the changes take effect. 